Hey guys, it's Gary. I'm here in Hawaii, still at the Big Island, and this is Makawalina, I think is the name, how you pronounce the beach. To get to this beach, we had to drive over two miles over a lava field, and then once we got through that, we then had to walk over a mile, about a mile and a half, almost a mile and a half, to get to this private secluded beach. So I'm just going to show you all that while I give you the legal tips. And this is pretty much about as secluded as you can get in Hawaii. This is really cool. Anyway, the legal tip today is my friend Tony had emailed me and asked me uh, what happens when a buyer and the seller sign the release, but the buyer's agent, the broker, has not signed. If you'll remember, the form has a place for both the buyer and the signer, and then the seller to sign saying that they terminate the contract and they release it. But there's also a place for the broker in charge to sign. And his question was, does the broker actually have to sign it for it to be a valid release? And the answer is no. Once the buyer and the seller decide they want to terminate the contract and it be done, it's over. And I'm not really sure why the form has a broker to sign it other than maybe so that the broker knows that the contract's terminated so they can release artist money if necessary. But there is absolutely no reason that you have to wait for the broker to sign it. Once the buyer and the seller have decided they're going to terminate the contract, the contract is done. And so you don't have to do it. So hope you enjoyed the view here from the beach in Hawaii. It is some of the most beautiful uh, coral out here right near that sailboat. It's some really beautiful coral. We were out there. We saw a couple of eels. I uh, saw a huge um, green sea turtle and some spinner dolphins. So it's been quite a quite a treat.